Sentenced in court, accused of helping to light a seven-year-old boy on fire. And now that little boy's mother talks only on four about the man accused of attacking her son. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Kelly Brennan tonight with the exclusive interview. Kelly? Well, it's been more than a year now since Daniel, who was seven at the time, was lit on fire. And tonight, his mom sat down with me and really opened up into this horrific case, telling us details that have just haunted her family for the last year. She also talks about that pivotal moment that she walked in and saw her son for the first time covered in those burns. I walked in to find my son sitting on a couch with second and third degree burns on his chest and then covering his face. Sitting in his underwear, looking up at me and saying, Mommy, I'm really hurt. I'm really, really hurt. Lori Hallowell can never erase that image from her mind. Her son Daniel is now eight and just started the third grade. He still bears the scars on his face and ears from when he suffered painful abuse at the hands of Hallowell's former boyfriend and allegedly his 15 year old son. Ed Myers of Saxonburg threw nail polish remover on Daniel while he was supposed to be watching him. Myers' son allegedly then lit Daniel on fire, causing third degree burns. The hardest part in all of this for us is trying to explain to him. Why anybody would do it, you know, why it happened. Myers had accepted a plea deal and was sentenced today to four to 12 years in prison. He was the only adult in the home that day, but he never called for help. Daniel sat in this home in excruciating pain for hours. Even for me, it's tough because I'm I'm very angry with him. I'm so angry, you know, with him. I've you know, being a Christian, tried to forgive, but it's very difficult for me. It's been a long court process, and Hallowell says justice has not been served. She's upset the charges against Meyer's son, who allegedly lit Daniel on fire, were reduced. The teen was ordered to juvenile detention. I realize that he's completed their program there and done, you know, what he needed to do at that facility, but it seems. Very unjust to me that, that in September that he's going to be released to as parents. Daniel still needs reconstructive surgery on his face and his ears, so they still have a very long, painful, and expensive process ahead of them. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kelly Brennan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.